Do you think the United States would consider offering such a plea deal, uh, this Alfred plea deal to Assange? Well, the U.S. does offer plea deals in many instances, especially in cases that touch on espionage and international issues of this nature. Julian doesn't have to plead to an espionage offense or a computer hacking offense. He could plead simply to mishandling official information or even in a worst case scenario, conspiracy to mishandle official information, a far lesser charge. And, and that would also resolve the case and probably give the U.S. its satisfaction and would allow Julian essentially to hold his head up high after all of these so, years. Those charges are not in the original indictment, but you were saying to us before that the indictment could be amended to those charges. It can be amended to include what we call a lesser included offense. This is often done in cases of this nature. Kathy. Now, Stephen Kenny said to me that he hoped the U.S. wouldn't force Julian Assange to take a plea. But if so, he hoped they would never force him to come to the U.S. Would it be possible to do one without the other? You know, Kathy, that's a very interesting question. Usually American courts don't act unless a defendant is inside their district and shows up to the court. However, there's nothing strictly prohibiting it either. And in a given instance, uh, a plea could be taken internationally. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's not barred by any, any laws. If all parties consent to it, then the court has jurisdiction. And so I think that that is an option for Julian. I Look, I think that he's obviously in a troubled state of mind. He's gone through a, a horrendous experience and first virtual incarceration in an embassy then being dragged out of the embassy, incarcerated for nearly a year for a bail jumping offense for a crime that was dropped, and now incarcerated for more than three years pending extradition. And so, you know, it he obviously would have a fear of coming to the US um, and our prison system is often known for rough treatment in terms of management units and solitary confinement. And the US sometimes finds ways to get around these agreements. The better approach would be that he pleads while in the UK. We resolve the sentence by either an additional sentence of seven months, such as David Hicks had, or a year to be served in the UK or in Australia, or time served. He's already served more than three years, which is probably what he would get anyway in a normal trial setting. So there are ways to do this if, if everyone wants to find a solution. Uh, that's a very important point. Also, by the way, he could plead guilty and make a reservation as to the constitutionality of the charge and still seek an appeal on that ground. That's really what happened in the Hicks case. In any event, there are ways to solve these problems if both sides want to. 